Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today is a pretty interesting day on the farm. We're going to be working on some spots that have been trying to wash. We've had a lot of problems with erosion. We've had like six inches, seven inches of rain in the last week, and we've had some erosion problems. So all the new grass seed that we drilled down in some spots is not doing so well. One of those spots is right here beside my driveway. So we're going to roll out this matting right here. We'll show you how it works, and we'll show you what we're going to use as a dry weather seed to take really quickly and help to restore this land and stop erosion. So come along, let's go have some fun. Woo! folks so you might have been driving down the highway and seen these big rolls of matting all rolled out on the side of the highway and you drive back by a couple weeks later and it's boom it's all grass and you wonder mm, why can't I do that with my yard well you can do it with your yard and we're going to show you how we use this stuff we're also going to put down some millet seed some Kentucky 32 grass seed and you can use Kentucky 31 whatever grass seed suits your area but the millet is going to be really good for taking in dry weather and it's going to be very drought tolerant the millet will take off in about five to seven days and the grass seed will follow in about seven to ten days and we'll get some grass established and I'll show you this washed out spot where we're gonna roll this out but the first thing we've got to do is cut it in half and I also want to show you a new tool and we're gonna have some fun cutting it in half let's check it out so guys it's about time to retire a piece of equipment here on the farm I had a viewer suggest that this thing was a pain in the butt and you know, it, it worked good. We seeded basically our whole lawn with this thing, just walking around. It holds about 15 pounds of seed, and it would work for the average homeowner. But a viewer suggested I get something else. Let me show you. This guy is the ticket. This is the Solo Seed Spreader, and it's basically the same principle. It has a hand crank on it, and it spreads seed, but look at that thing spin. It's just a thing of beauty. It has a directional adjuster right here, so you can adjust whether you want to throw out this way, this way, or straight. I think. I haven't used it yet. And it also has a little slide button right here, and that controls how much grass seed you're going to get. And you set this little tab right here, and basically you just hold your thumb on there and crank away. So we're going to use this thing for the first time today, show you how it works, and I'll let you know if I think it's better than the old bag type seeder. Now let's go ahead and cut this big roll in half. You're going to like this. So when I was at the landscape place, I said, man, I really don't need it in an eight foot wide. I need it about four foot wide. He said, well, you can cut it in half. I said, well, what should I use to cut it? He said, whatever you use, make sure it doesn't produce a lot of heat. So without further ado, we're going to try something like this. I don't know whether this will work or not. That looks like about four feet and that looks like about four feet. I think we're going to hit it wide open and see if she cuts. Hard to cut. Woo! <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it, guys. Now we're going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to put down the millet seed and the fescue seed, and then we're going to roll our mat out on this ditch. Let me show you this ditch. So you can see right here these little rows. That's where we used the seed drill, and the seed drill went right through here, but all of the soil just washed right out with all this rain that we had. So this is the area where we're going to go ahead and roll this mat out. If you haven't seen the video, I'll post it right here. It's the video where we cut this ditch right here. This was a really bad problem and water was washing out into our driveway and starting to wash our driveway away. So this was the solution to that problem, but we just didn't expect all that rain. So we're going to get on here with some millet seed and then we're going to get on here with some fescue seed and then we'll show you how these little rolls roll out. It's super duper cool. So guys, this kind of applies to any kind of problem area you might have that's washing or just a spot that grass just doesn't want to grow. So you put this matting down, it holds that moisture, it retains that moisture, and it gets it to grow. I don't know how many people just think they can go and throw grass seed down and boom, it's just going to take. It's just not going to work like that. It just washes away or birds eat it in that kind of situation. You've got to put a little bit of work into it and you've got to put a little bit of science into it. Now we have a 50 pound bag of fescue and we also have 50 pound bags of millet and we're going to go ahead we'll spread the millet first and then we'll spread the fescue this 50 pound bag is enough to probably do a good half acre lawn so don't waste your money do it right think it through you don't have to spend as much on seed if you do the right prep work and if you do the right finish work what i use when i'm seeding is i've got a big old pot okay i just have a big old pot and i pour my seed into the big old pot and then i take it from there and pour it into my seeder it just makes life a little bit easier so let's go ahead and we'll fill our pot halfway this is what the millet seed looks like little bitty beads 
pretty cool. And guys, just so you know, I didn't get paid to do this or I'm not getting paid to do this and I paid for this with my own money. So this is the lid for it. It's a clear lid so you can see down in there. We're gonna go ahead and we'll make sure that we're closed right here and we'll pour our seed in, okay? So guys, it's not as easy to load as this big opening in this bag type seeder. So that's one downside to it. And I don't think it holds near as much. I think it probably holds two thirds of what this typical grass seeder right here, this bag type seeder holds. So pretty simple. You just take your little handle here. It's got a little arm pad. You go around your back, lift her up, give her a good old hug. And that's it. Boom. She's on there. She's ready to go. And I have my little controller right here and my direction right here. So let's get out and do some work with it. So you have to fine tune adjust this thing for your body size and body type. But I'm six foot five, 260 pounds, and it fits me just right. So there's a big adjuster on the back right here, and you can adjust it to your size. So we've got it all set up, and this is the spray. It just kind of sends it out there, okay? Hopefully I didn't send too much in the camera. So guys, we're just gonna kind of go over this ditch area and you can also see there's a big bare spot right here. We're gonna go over that really good with this millet and then we're gonna come back over it with fescue seed. So let's get busy. All right, so we're all done with our millet seed. And now we're gonna get on with our fescue seed. That's the first time I've spread millet and millet really kind of gets all over everywhere. So we're gonna load it up with fescue seed. Should be a little bit easier, a little bit funner. The thing I like the most about this is that you can just use one hand. So that's kind of nice. You don't have to steady it or hold it up with the other hand like I did with the bag seeder. I'm liking it a lot. It spreads evenly. It's nice that I can pick which direction I wanna spread it. So let's throw some fescue in here. So I think the best way to do this is set the seeder on the ground and then grab my bag of fescue and just pour it in there. There we go. We've got our fescue grass seed down and now we're going to go ahead and roll out our mat. It's supposed to be 100 feet long and we cut it into four foot sections. So should cover this area well. All right guys, so the basic precipice behind this is we're going to roll this out in the ditch and then we go along with these pins, okay? And these are pins that are designed to rust away in about a year and basically you just have to stab them in the ground and mash them all the way down. They're like a staple, okay? So they'll mash down in the ground and they'll rot away after a year or so once the grass has taken hold you won't ever have to worry about them again. But if you don't put these pins in to retain it, when the grass starts to grow, it will push the mat up. It'll push that matting up off of the ground and prevent it from doing its job. So let's get busy, let's roll it out. This stuff rolls out really nicely. And I'm glad the chainsaw trick worked too. All right, just rolling right along here. Keep it rolling, keep it in the ditch. Basically, we want this right over the center of this ditch right here, and that's gonna totally wipe away any more erosion. So we're at the point here where me and Mrs. Stony Ridge gotta get busy, okay? So basically, we'll just push these little stakes down in the ground all the way till they're flush with the ground, probably about every three feet all the way along this ditch, and that'll help to retain this. Look at that working woman. Hey honey. Hey honey. Look at that working woman right there. Smiling, swinging a hammer. Well guys, you can see it looks great. 40 bucks for a roll. It's 150 feet long and eight feet wide. You can cut it in half and make a four foot section. So we pretty much got the driveway handled. Nice. So probably in about seven to 10 days, the grass seed will start hitting, start coming up and things will start looking a whole lot better. If we get any more torrential downpours in the meantime, this will hold the soil in place and actually any silt or sediment that rolls down the hill will get caught up in this mat and help provide structure for the soil in this ditch. Well guys, I just want to take you along and show you how this matting works and also show you how that solo cedar works. So who wins, the solo or the old bag style? Well. 
the jury's still out. I think this would be much easier for someone who couldn't pick up a lot of weight. So I think ergonomically, this one's the best. I think for me, for being a big guy, that right there will sling more seed and hold more seed. Therefore, I don't have to fill it up quite as much. So pretty cool. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the farm vlog today. Me, Mrs. Stony Ridge, still got a lot of work to do. So we're going to get on out of here. I uh, thank you. We'll see you next time. Please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. If this is your first time, Click that little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video, and we'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farm. All right? Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Good for a guy with a belly like me. Oh. Except for when you do it wrong. Urgh.